nature is full of surprises, and sometimes it creates some truly bizarre and awe-inspiring moments that leave us amazed and perplexed. From floating balls of lightning to massive river tidal waves, there are countless natural phenomena that defy explanation and leave us marveling at the wonders of the natural world. So for today's video, I'm going to be counting down 15 of the most bizarre natural phenomena caught on camera. Number 15. The Tiantong River Tidal Bore the Tiantong River in China runs for about 285 miles and serves as an important body of water for the country, flowing east into the China Sea. But it's also very well known for its phenomenon known as a tidal bore. The dramatic aquatic event happens as the rising tide comes in from the Hangzhou Bay and is then funneled by the shape of the river. The end result is the world's largest tidal bore, a long, breaking wave that reaches 30 feet high. The tidal bore is so well known that it's been named the Silver Dragon. This Silver Dragon rises in the spring tide with every full moon, but it's at its strongest in the fall. On the 18th day of the 8th month in the Chinese calendar, onlookers gather for tide-watching festivals to catch a glimpse of the Silver Dragon rearing its head. The tide-watching festivals can bring in up to 170,000 people and has been celebrated for hundreds of years. Many have said that before they even see the tidal bore, they hear the sound of rushing water, almost that of a waterfall growing steadily out on the horizon. As it approaches the bay, the tidal bore reaches about 25 miles an hour before crashing into the edge of the bay. Some years, a nearby typhoon has caused the waves to crash against the riverbanks violently, sucking tourists off the seawalls in its wake. After the Silver Dragon churns past, the placid river current is now replaced by choppy and turbulent ocean waves, suddenly many feet higher and completely transformed. This river also holds an incredibly important cultural significance, which only adds to the mysticism of the amazing tidal bore. The regular occurrence of this silver dragon helped give rise to the oldest known tide table, dating back to 1065 BCE. Number 14. Bracken Bat Cave Bracken Cave in Texas is the summer home to bats. Well, I'm not talking about 10, 20, or even 1,000 bats. Each year, about 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats come here to roost from March to October, making this the largest concentrations of mammals on the planet. The cave is just 100 feet wide and lies at the bottom of a sinkhole where the roof collapsed decades ago. Luckily for the bats, though, the Bracken Cave and the 1,521 acres that it sits on are all owned by the Bat Conservation Unit, meaning these bats will always have a safe place to stay. The organization also maintains and restores the vegetation and wildlife in the area, ensuring that these roosting bats can keep coming back year after year. These bats make their annual 1,000-mile trip from Mexico to Bracken Cave to give birth to their pups, and 500 of these baby bats can fit on one square foot of the cave wall. And when they do finally emerge, it is quite the sight to say the least. All of a sudden, the sky is riddled with bats and it's almost impossible to hear anything over the sounds of their wings flapping. The conservationist group also offers tours of the cave so anyone lucky enough to go can witness this phenomenal event. Number 13. The Everstorm the Catatumbo River runs from Colombia to Venezuela and experiences such intense forms of lightning that they decided to name the phenomenon after it. Also known as the Everlasting Storm, Catatumbo lightning happens when you get about 30 lightning strikes per minute, with a total of about 160 lightning storms a year, with each one lasting about 9 hours a day. That is intense. The Catatumbo lightning happens specifically because of the river's proximity to the Andes Mountains that surround it. Heating and cooling patterns form, strong winds blow, and the air here is incredibly humid. The waters from the river evaporates and the wind moves the warm air towards the colder mountain air. Ice crystals form and come into contact with the humid water droplets, and then the light show begins. It's the perfect recipe for what some may call the perfect storm, and it doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. Not like this, at least. And it's been going on for a while, too. I'm talking centuries. The Catatumbo River was once an important trade route, and the ships would use the heavy lightning storms as beacons in the distance. The energy emitted from the Catatumbo lightning is enough to power a hundred million light bulbs, and the heat generated is three times hotter than the surface of the sun. That's one storm you do not want to be stuck in. Number 12. The River of Five Colors one of the most bizarre yet gorgeous natural phenomenon in the world, Caño Cristales in Colombia, has been referred to as the River of Five Colors, the river that ran away from paradise and the most beautiful river in the world. Despite these accolades, though, Caño Cristales is indistinguishable from any other river most of the year. It's just your average bed of rocks covered in dull green mosses. 
But during September through November, the river transforms into something truly magical. When the water level is just right, a unique species of plant that lines the river floor, called the Macarania clavigera, turns a bright and brilliant red. During Colombia's wet season, the water flows too fast and deep, obscuring the bottom of the river and denying the Macarania clavigera the sun that it needs to turn red. During the dry season, there's not enough water to support the dazzling array of life in the river. So it's at that short, sweet spot when the river blossoms in a vibrant explosion of colors. It's offset by splotches of yellow and green sand, blue water, and every shade in between. The River of Five Colors is located in a remote, isolated area not easily accessible by road. More adventurous tourists can now fly into the nearby town of La Macarena. From there, it's a short tip to Sorania de la Macarena, the national park in which Caño Cristales is located. This dazzling river runs for about 62 miles and was once completely inaccessible due to years of violent conflict in that area. But luckily today, the region is controlled by the Colombian military, who have opened it up to locals and tourists alike in 2009. The Caño Cristales River is the only place on Earth where this type of bloom happens, making it a one-of-a-kind destination and, quite possibly, the most beautiful river in the world. Number 11. Cenote Angelita when swimmers and divers plunge beneath the depths, the last thing they'll expect to find is an underwater river. But that's exactly what Cenote Angelita is. Just outside of the ruins of the Mayan city of Tulum, in the jungles of Mexico, is a series of sinkholes and caves leading to an amazing submerged world beyond our imagination. One of these openings is the Angelita Cenote, a wide 200-foot-deep pool that opens from the dense jungle surroundings. The cavern was created by the crumbling of porous limestone as water crept in and hollowed out the space. The gaping cavern was once even worshipped as a holy site by ancient Mayan cultures, hence its name, cenote, being a derivation of a Mayan word meaning sacred well. Dive a little deeper though and you'll find a separate river that runs near the bottom of the water-filled pit. How is something like this even possible? Is it part of an ancient Mayan city or folklore? Well, not quite. This illusion is a product of the water's chemistry. Different portions of the water in the caverns have different levels of salinity, causing the denser water to sink to the bottom, where it looks like a misty underwater river all its own. As one can imagine, this unique phenomenon has turned the Angelita Cenote into a popular diving spot. It's truly a one-of-a-kind destination and has to be seen to be believed. Number 10. Kawa Ijen Indonesia is home to some of the most gorgeous natural scenery on Earth. One of the most biodiverse regions in existence, one could spend decades here and still never even come close to seeing all it has to offer. But there's one natural phenomenon here that quite literally stands above the crowd. Travelers come from far and wide to the island of Java to see the magnificent Kawa Ijen volcano and catch a glimpse of the turquoise-hued caldera lake at the volcano's summit. Only adding to the spectacular scene are the bright citrine-colored stones and billows of white gases surrounding the one-kilometer-wide aquamarine lake in a spectacular show. It is a far cry from the typical hot red colors of your average volcano, but Kawa Ijen is anything but average. The biggest culprit behind the strange scene is sulfur. It all starts in the magma chamber below the volcano, which pours sulfuric gases into the lake. Combined with a high concentration of dissolved metals, the gases turn the water into a brilliant shade of blue. They also render the Ijen Crater Lake the world's largest highly acidic lake, with a pH level of 0.5, so swim in the crater lake at your own risk. That same magma chamber blasts a continuous stream of sulfuric gas from lakeside fumaroles that swirl around the lake, and when the gas condenses and falls to the ground, it dyes the lake's surrounding stones a shocking shade. Kawa Ijen may be a nightmare of sulfuric activity that puts on a spectacular show each night, but when coming into contact with the air, the sulfuric gases combust into a stream of blue light. While it's best not to get too close to the action, hikers are welcome to make the three-hour trek to the bank of the crater and witness the scientific oddity in person. Number 9. Methane Lakes Who doesn't remember blowing bubbles as a kid and all the simple joy it brought us? Well, this unique natural phenomenon takes blowing bubbles to all new extremes. The frozen bubbles can be seen during the tough winters at the Abraham Lake in Alberta, Canada, and it looks like thousands of bubbles trapped not just under the iced over surface, but in time. This phenomenon occurs when the methane gases under the lake get trapped and freeze to create this otherworldly oddity. But because the bubbles are made of methane, they're also dangerous as they are beautiful. 
That much methane, even frozen and underwater, is highly flammable, and you don't have to get under the icy surface to cause an explosion. Even a lit match or lighter just in the area can cause a giant explosion. And if explosive lakes aren't enough, the methane gas under the lake is a sign of how much warmer the planet's becoming. So while the frozen bubbles of Abraham Lake look spectacular, it's not something that we really want to see. Eventually, the ice will begin to melt in the spring, causing the bubbles to burst naturally and make for one stinky lake. But the phenomenon also attracts plenty of scientists and researchers too, all of whom are looking to whistle while they work. They come to perform safe and simple experiments, lighting the methane that seeps through the bubbles as these frozen lakes pass gas. Number 8. Red Sprites If you ever see this crazy weather phenomenon, fear not because we're not being attacked by alien invaders. What you're seeing here are jellyfish sprites. This dripping red aerial occurrence is much like lightning, only it happens much, much higher up in the Earth's atmosphere. While your average lightning storm is raging about 9 miles high, jellyfish sprites occur anywhere from 30 to 55 miles up in the sky. These freaky red sprites are a type of colder plasma discharge that's born above thunderclouds. They're basically a response to the positive lightning charges down below and Mother Nature's way of maintaining that delicate balance of her forces. It's incredibly tough to capture a jellyfish sprite on camera, especially because of the light pollution from the world below. If you really want to sneak a peek at these red sprites, it has to be late at night and you need to be far away not just from the storm itself, but from any light pollution too. So if you do manage to see one, make a wish, because the odds of you ever seeing one again in your lifetime are slim to none. Number 7. Blue Bioluminescent Beaches Modu Island, also known as Vadu Island in the Maldives, is amazing in its own right during the day. But it's at night when things really start to come alive, literally. Because the waters of the island are home to millions of bioluminescent plankton, meaning they're creating their own natural light. And so if you do visit these beaches at night, you'll be treated to a sea of vibrant bright blue unlike anything else in the world. It can look like an alien invasion or even like the stars are coming up from the sea when this phenomenon happens. And of course, as the tides ebb and flow onto the beach, plenty of these bright blue plankton are left behind in the sand. Beachgoers can turn around to see all the blue footprints they've left behind. And perhaps the best part is, it's 100% safe to go swimming amongst these bright blue aquatic lights. Mudu Island is just 8 kilometers from the airport, and it's just a 15-minute boat ride away from the mainland, meaning anyone can experience this epic natural phenomenon. Walking through the wet sands, beachgoers leave behind some of the most gorgeous footprints the world has ever known, as the plankton shine their bright blue light with each step. That's awesome. Number 6. Ball Lightning People have been freaking out about ball lightning for centuries. The sailors of old described it as fireballs coming from the sky, while more modern people assume it's aliens or UFOs. So then, who was right? Well, neither of them. Also known as ghost lights, ball lightning mostly occurs during bad thunderstorms, but it's even been known to happen in closed rooms. Researchers in China have mostly figured out what causes this strange weather phenomenon and decided that when microwaves get trapped inside of a plasma bubble and eventually explode, creating these great balls of fire that can be as small as a golf ball or a 10 feet in diameter. But not only is the ball lightning both bright and huge, it also stinks. The gases inside explode, giving off a nasty stench that'll make you wish you were struck by lightning instead. Scientists have been so obsessed with ball lightning that the US government even tried to harness and weaponize them in the 1960s at the height of the Cold War. Luckily for everyone, that's not how the weather works. Number 5. The Great Migration The next entry on our list of bizarre natural phenomenon is enough to make your skin crawl. The red crab migration happens once a year, almost on cue, and when it happens, you better make sure to get out of the way. It all goes down on Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean, where millions of these red crabs head to the ocean in hopes of finding a mate and getting lucky. But along the way, these little guys cover every inch of surface from trees to boulders and even the roads. It gets to a point where the floor is replaced by a waving sea of red shapes all clamoring over each other with just one thing on their mind. This migration has become somewhat of an event, and if you can get a good and safe spot up high, you're more than welcome to watch them, because like a parade, the local municipality closes off the roads so they can move along safely. The local news even gives would-be spectators live updates of the crabs' movements, so you'll know exactly where they are at all times. And while the idea of millions of crabs all moving to the ocean for the sake of love is kinda nice, it still makes for one of the most goosebump-inducing sights in the world. And add to the little creep factor, the time of the migration and the speed of the crabs are all determined by the phase of the moon. Weird. 
Number 4. Bleeding Fungi If you couldn't tell by the name, this one may not be for the faint of heart. The bleeding tooth plant is a type of fungus that looks like it's straight out of a horror movie. But in reality, this unusual mushroom hails from the Pacific Northwest. The bleeding tooth plant earned its name from its pale white flesh with deep red pores that ooze out a thick red fluid. And if for some crazy reason you do feel like getting up close and personal with this thing, you turn it over you find that the base is studded with small, mean-looking spines. But surprisingly, the bleeding tooth plant isn't dangerous and may have some health benefits for humans brave enough to consume them. And it's only the young ones that have that ghastly appearance. As they mature, they develop a more brown and shriveled appearance. The sanguine substance is a type of sap that's forced out of the fungus by excess absorption of water. And oddly enough, you can find the bleeding tooth plant in different temperaments too all over the world, from North America to the Middle East and even in parts of Korea. Luckily, they like to hide amongst the moss in the shadier parts of the forest, so the odds of you seeing one out in the open and getting scared are pretty slim. Number 3. Fire Tornadoes 2020 it was a pretty rough year for most of us, and for many living on the west coast of the United States, there were some serious wildfires on top of everything else. In August of that year, residents of Loyalton, California were given their first ever fire tornado warning. But how is something that sounds like it's been ripped out of a science fiction movie able to exist? Well, a fire tornado is the byproduct of wildfires and wildfire conditions. When the heat becomes intense enough and mixes with turbulent winds and uneven terrain, a fire tornado is born. Currents of hot air rush upwards while the air pours in from the sides, causing horizontal winds. Once the fire tornado gathers up enough speed and strength, it will create its own weather system. The vortex then pulls in embers, ash, dirt, debris, and obviously flames. And when the winds move up to 140 miles an hour, some of those contents can be hurled about. They can even form what's known as a pyrocumulonimbus, which is essentially a fire cloud that causes a hot thunderstorm above, literally adding fuel to the fire. It's a unique natural phenomenon that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it makes for one terrifying sight, especially for someone who hasn't heard of one before. Witnessing a fire tornado makes for one rude and hot awakening. Number 2. Twin Tornadoes What could possibly be worse than witnessing or falling victim to a tornado? How about two tornadoes? Twin tornadoes don't come around very often, only about every 10 to 15 years, but when they do form, they're usually a doozy. The original storm cell has to be incredibly violent for the second tornado to come into play, and it can go one of two ways. One funnel is so strong that it forms another, smaller and less powerful funnel, or as the first one is dying, a new one forms to finish the job. One of the first twin tornadoes on record occurred in Austin, Texas in 1922, which caused nearly a million dollars in damages. But in more recent years, meteorologists and storm chasers tracked a set of twins in Nebraska in 2014, and another one in Kansas just two years later. And while a twin tornado may be an unsettling weather phenomenon, the destruction it leaves behind is anything but. Thankfully, these twin tornadoes don't happen very often, but they are a very real and very scary reminder of nature's fury. Plus, they leave an insurmountable amount of damage and pain in their wake. A single tornado on its own is not to be trifled with, and the prospect of two happening at the same time is enough to leave even the bravest storm chasers shaking in their boots. Number 1. Denmark's Black Sun the Black Sun, or Sort Sol in Danish, is one of the most magnificent natural phenomenon in the world. Thousands of visitors from all over the world travel to Denmark to watch as the sunset is blocked by massive flocks of birds as the sky takes on the form of a work of art. Every year in spring and autumn, up to one million starlings migrate from Norway, Sweden, and Finland and go on their way to France, Britain, Belgium, and the Netherlands. And they nearly blot out the sun in the process. Sort Sul culminates in southwestern Jutland in Denmark during autumn from August to the end of October, and in spring from the middle of March to the middle of April, when the starlings returning to the north make a stop at Vadensee National Park marshlands to find rest and food. The entire phenomenon is relatively short-lived, only lasting about 20 minutes at sunset, where it feels as though the sun disappears behind the hundreds of thousands of these black birds all swirling about in unison. Just before the starlings land, the flocks perform acrobatic movements, performing various formations in order to protect themselves from predators. In their attempt to safeguard themselves from raptors such as eagles and hawks, starlings start flying in synchronized patterns. So to the people who watch it from the ground, it appears as the flocks are changing shapes every second. 
Starlings travel in such large flocks to stay warm and exchange information about the best feeding spots. Sort Sol is best viewed in this national park, and the event attracts about 100,000 visitors at a time. I'll see you all next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.